Okay, for now just operating the CVC GUI. We'll download that. Once it launches, providing it has connection, it will display that it has connection and you can click OK. At that point, you can select different types of control by your inputs. There is pulse, which is, as the chart shows you right here, when the input comes on, your movement extends out and comes back by just the leading edge of that pulse. If we're replacing an air cylinder, typically it is considered monostable, which is where the input comes on, and as long as the input stays on, the extension of the shaft is at its uh, extend position uh, upon the input dropping out the retraction happens. All you do is move the shaft to the location that you want. Let's say the first or home position or start position is here. You click teach. As you notice it loads that in the window. We'll bring it out to near full extend. We'll click teach. For speed, we'll put in a millimeters per second. So let's put in 1,000. Speed is similar to flow controls on an air cylinder. Your motion control, soft to hard, is similar to the uh, pressure uh, or to your regulator. So I'll bring this up a little ways. Click right to controller. It downloads it. When you click run, the shaft will come back to its number one position. At that point, you'll see that output zero is on. It's considered at its zero position or your first start position. You can actually activate the CBC actuator. Instead of needing to trigger it by the 24 volt input, you can actually trigger it right off the GUI. So this is a protection here. And it tells you that I have it out. As soon as I take it off, it comes back. If I want to see what my move is, I can graph that profile as well. And you can auto scale that move. And as you notice, the second output or output number one comes on when it's at that extend position. So now you've duplicated the same scenario as an air cylinder by applying 24 volts to energize and you have your two end of stroke positions. And that's it.